What's up? How are you guys? Another Sunday evening, filming a vlog for you guys for Frankie's Syringe Meat. Also, if you saw last week, we had a little, little connection with all the harassment and everything, the negative reviews, all that type of stuff, and we like sat down and spoke about it. But uh, I don't like focusing on the negative stuff as long as you guys continue to place orders and support us. Hey, maybe we'll eventually get a lawyer on retainer and won't have to deal with this nonsense ourselves. Uh, a few new things this week. Uh, new steak salt. You need something. Okay, <laughs> bye. Is Frank opening a fucking grocery store? Honest question, where the fuck is he raising so much capital? I hate that he's doing anything resembling success. No, he's not opening up a grocery store. He, uh... A property that used to be used as a grocery store. Thanks for the donation. I'm excited to show you guys. We got cotton candy grape sorbet. Uh, we have a pet food with eggs, which I still have to put on the website, which I haven't spoken about yet. And we also got a few different types of butter available. So we're going to show you guys all that. Uh, I did have to uh, take out a line of credit to deal with a lot of the negative stuff and also. Um, and also get a few things that were necessary since the freezer failing. And I guess for a change of pace, we, we can show you guys that stuff. I've also been trying to get a few. Well, that's good to hear. Frank's just going into debt and not making any profit. For the donation, Dodo. Felice Johnson, Donny Tillers, would you say she's thick, chubby, or obese? Felice Johnson. A few things at auction to try to resell it, make a little money, but it's. No, never doing this again. But let me show you guys what we got. So out front here, we were renting a forklift, like a thousand dollars a month. We rented it for a month that we needed. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Frank has admitted that a lot of the eggs he sells goes rotten, so he may be putting those rotten eggs into pet food. How much was the line of credit? I don't know. Uh, he didn't specify, but he, he just said he had to take out a line of credit. Thanks for the donation, James. Did to do random stuff and like load the reefers up and it was pretty useful overall. That forklift rental company actually had an older Toyota. Uh, this is actually the company that they sold us. And, and uh, it was about $5,000, which for any used forklift that even works in today's market is a steal, you know? Compared to having to spend $35,000, $40,000 on a new forklift or, you know, closer to ten or 15000 on a used forklift, it's been serviced, it runs good, it's a little loud and a little beat up, but for what we need, this is perfect. So we basically have our own forklift, which I was also using to uh, take out a few things back here. Uh, I got these two used Chevy trucks I was going to use for plowing, but I'm probably just going to resell them. And we got a big old generator back there too. Uh, it's wrapped up in tarp, so maybe we'll show you guys that another day. Yeah, I was basically on this government auction site, and this stuff was so cheap that I wanted to just buy it and resell it, but in hindsight, like, I don't have the capital to have that money tied up. Even though it's like a few thousand dollars per item, I just, I need to get rid of this stuff and sell it as soon as possible, which isn't really that easy because like the trucks, I need to fix them, take it to the mechanic, take it to the body shop, whole bunch of nonsense. So I'm not gonna do this again, probably, but. Okay, Frank's a uh, literal retard. There, the reason I bought this stuff at the auction was because there are a few other interesting things that I thought were pretty applicable to the health stuff. So these air purifiers were pretty cheap. I thought they were new, but they're used, barely. Uh, so these, I'm just gonna vacuum, clean them up a bit and uh, probably list these on eBay. So if you guys want some very high quality UV air purifiers for an affordable price, I think I'm probably only gonna sell them for like 200 or 250 each. I'm not sure what I paid for them, but these new are like $1,000 each. So. I'm pretty sure he's lying. This one says 1800.
Most of them are like a hundred bucks. That one kind of looks like the one Frank was showing. Oh, wait, crap. Um, two hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. They're all like two hundred dollars. Yeah. For what you're getting, UV air filtration, it's not going to be better. This UV air filtration, what? Their price, <laughs> uh, I'll probably list these and uh, I'll have to clean them up as I sell them. Over here, we got something else special, uh, which is an oxygen generator. I'll show that last because I'm going to talk about that one the most. And here we just got some really high def security cameras. I was going to use these for my business. But uh, I think we're just gonna try to resell them. I think brand new, these are like 1600 each. Auction, we obviously got a, a good deal for a pallet of them, but I think we're just gonna list them on eBay and see what we can get for them. Uh, this is like, you know, if, if a camera company was installing these, they'd charge you a fortune. So uh, just really, really high definition uh, cameras. I, I was gonna use them for my business. That's why I bought them, you know, a few thousand dollars for this pallet, but uh, I didn't realize that it has like an ethernet wire and the wiring camera system for my current building I have to rewire the whole building, you know I thought I could just swap these cameras in instead of the old ones, but I can't so we're probably just gonna try to resell these and make our money back Which we should be able to and this is something pretty special uh, We have I don't know maybe 20 or 30 of these is an oxygen generator so if you guys, you know, in the hospital, you know, when you, the people have the tubes going to their nose to give them oxygen, that's kind of what this is, um, but it's a portable version. So these are all brand new military surplus oxygen generators. This is the actual oxygen generator itself. The is that even a thing? Okay. These are batteries, I believe. And this is to this is to charge the batteries. And I'm guessing maybe this plug up here is to maybe plug it in and run it when you have a power source. And then, why in the hell did he buy this? And in here is the actual canola, which is the um the hose that goes to your nose. So what an oxygen generator does is it takes the CO, well, you know, the, the air in the environment is oxygen plus CO2 plus a bunch of other stuff. So it takes the air in the environment and concentrates it to oxygen and delivers it to your nose. I uh, don't think that's how it works. Uh, you need to, you need to use certain chemicals um, in order to generate oxygen. Frank taken for a ride? Probably. He seems to have uh, spending compulsions. I, I don't know why he'd buy any of this. Thanks for that. I actually sleep with one of these. Now I have a regular. I have a regular medical one. I. What the fuck? Frank sleeps with an oxygen generator. Got my hands on, but these are kind of hard to get, and they're they're not cheap. Um, so we're probably going to sell these for I don't know maybe around two fifty or three hundred each. Um, so you guys can use them and sleep with them and like, Hey, in the case of an emergency, if there's really bad air quality, you turn this on and hook this up. So this is not something that like sick people or hospitalized people should only be using. Having higher quality oxygen, especially with all the crap they spray in the air is very, very important. So I thought this was really cool to be able to buy these. And if any of you guys wanted them, right. Frank is literally insane. I could try to sell them or just who knows never sell them but since these were new and they came in this uh you know pretty nice package and and for that price uh for the price that i'm going to sell these for you know a regular auction generator is over a thousand dollars and uh something poor i don't know what these sell for new i think these are also over a thousand dollars new so these aren't actually cheap 
And I'll probably do a separate video on that and talk more about that. But like when I sleep in my bed canopy, I have the oxygen generator outside of the canopy and I have the hose running inside and then I put it on my face. So, you know, if the air quality is not that great, if they're spraying stuff in the air, or even if just the air quality in my room Grand Am isn't that great, like probably for the past few years, sometimes I'll wake up with shortness of breath just because of the poor air quality, I need to open a window or run a dehumidifier or run an air filter. Ever since I started using an oxygen generator, I've never had a problem breathing at night. So having the, the quality concentrated oxygen in your nose is really important. And you don't even necessarily have to put the tubes in your nose, you kind of just put them near your nose. So it's blowing some higher quality oxygen near your face. So that's probably the most important thing we got that I'm actually interested in selling you guys. The air filters too. Uh, so I'm going to list the oxygen generators and the air filters on my eBay account, which I will link down below. And then if there's the other stuff you guys are interested in, you can check that out too. What I also bought, which they only sold for a few hundred bucks, and this thing's huge. This is 60,000 BTU air conditioner. And I saw it inside, it's brand new, it's not used. Like everything's in plastic, all the hoses are wrapped up. So I'm going to see if my... Uh, HVAC guy can install this somewhere. If not, I'll probably resell them. But you get burned a little too. I bought this refrigerator for my guys to put their food in, but uh, it's not working. So I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, it's probably not worth assessing because it was only like 40 bucks. Um, but 40 bucks for a broken refrigerator is just uh, you losing $40 if it's not working. Yeah, so I've mainly been buying stuff I thought I would need on the business. Like those trucks were for plowing snow in the winter, but I've come to realize that I'm not going to pay insurance monthly on those trucks. It's too much money. So I'm just going to resell them. And and like the car flipping business and that stuff, it's way. Th this doesn't make any sense. Frank should ask himself if the bad air might originate from all the rotting meat laying in the room next to him. Yeah, that would make sense. Thanks for the donation cue. He was he bought the trucks to plow snow in the winter and then he's saying he'd have to pay insurance. Why would you have to pay insurance if the trucks are just sitting there? Way too involved, it's not worth it, it's too competitive. Um, that generator I bought, I was planning on using for this building. It was way it was way too cheap. But I'll see if we can get it running and uh, and then probably just resell it because I think the electrical work just to hook up that generator is gonna be too much. So Hopefully in a month or two we just flip this stuff and get rid of it and then I stop with the auction nonsense. But um, yeah, I thought those auction generators were cool and I thought the air filters were you know, good to give you guys a good deal or even use them myself. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So on the Foods website we have pretty much everything kind of running low. Uh, I told you guys about the new pemmican recipe. Definitely let me know how you guys are liking that. I think you guys bought most of them already. Uh, we haven't had for a little while that we just restocked is the meat granola. So, if you guys are enjoying that, we got some. Almost forgot to show you guys, one of the new products this week is Frankie's New York City style steak seasoning, which is basically just salt and pepper, but it's our high quality purified sea salt. He is selling this for $10. Salt and pepper for $10 and it's freshly ground organic black pepper, and it's the perfect ratio for seasoning. So a little blurb on here about how, you know, when I used to work in some steakhouses as a waiter, I kind of saw what the chefs were doing, and this is kind of that typical, like, steakhouse flavor that you'll get. So if you want to put this on steaks or burgers, you know, a thin layer on all of it, and, uh, you know, you won't have to grind up the salt or pepper yourself, and you'll have the perfect ratio, perfect amount for this. So I've been putting this on like a burger and then I'll put the steak sauce on afterwards. But I, I really like that black pepper flavor once in a while. So if you're craving it, this is nice. Change of pace. Uh, let me know how you guys like it. Over here on Oregon Supplements, I've been showing you guys every week. We have the free collagen with every order still available. And also, if you spend like 70 bucks, we'll give you the free collagen as well as a free uh, kind of kratom. So. 
in addition to all you know those new products we're offering like the zinc complex magnesium complex multivitamin multimineral we got k2 d3 we got the natural probiotic so we got a whole bunch of new stuff on organ supplements if you guys haven't checked it out and we also got some really nice free promotions you know you only have to spend forty dollars and you get this free college in which honestly is probably at least a forty dollar value for what everyone else is selling like grass-fed high quality this cost them like two dollars to make collagen for past few weeks we've kind of been trying to liquidate all the old products on the naturals uh, i'm gonna see if i can get all my new stuff and i was showing you guys these uh these new boxes the other week but i think it's still going to be like a month or two uh probably closer to a month and a half two months before we even get any of the new stuff so i'm not going to talk about it too much oh yeah the other big thing on the organ supplements was we've restocked the thyroid powders and the male virility powders which we were sold out of for a little while and we also restocked the uh, cavity cure concentrate on the on the naturals website clay shampoo too got the clay shampoo back so in the fridge we got all our fresh raw a282 dairy ready to ship out to you guys cow's milk sheep's milk we got all the fresh eggs ready to go all the dairy products are restocked Yogurt, heavy cream, cream cheese, sour cream, cottage cheese. We've got some sheep yogurt. The main thing restocked is raw butter. Uh, we've been sold out and you guys have been having a hard time getting it. So this is one of the containers we have available. This is unsalted, eight ounces. We also restocked the pickles. This is pickle juice. And here are the lacto-fermented garlic dill pickles. Really delicious, we get a lot of good reviews for these. We've got the beef blood restocked, just a small amount of chicken fat left, and we got some kefir grains here. This is the natural probiotic, we keep it in the fridge for you guys. Didn't have time over the weekend, but we're gonna try to make a garlic herb butter for you guys, so you can just kind of buy it and use it with everything. Uh, thyme, rosemary, and garlic, and it'll be really delicious and convenient. So over here we have a new type of ham. Uh, this is called speck, which is basically just smoked prosciutto. So a little different flavor profile and it's uh, a lot more affordable. Uh, this is like $8 for, I think my guys did two ounces on this. I thought they did four. Stop playing games and weigh it. It is four ounces. So we got four ounces of that ham. A bit more affordable than the prosciutto. And over here is all that other stuff. We got the beef pastrami, smoked brisket, beef bacon, and pork bacon. So we've been selling the raw unsalted butter for a few years now, but since our farmer couldn't keep up the demand, we've actually found a few other suppliers that have given us more options for you guys. So now- I didn't even have to respond to any of this. Now we have salted, unsalted, as well as cultured butter, three options available. Uh, these are one pound blocks available on the website. So if you guys have been waiting to restock on butter or you just wanted some other options, uh, we have these now available. Let us know how you like them. If it's salty enough, it's too salty, how the cultured flavor is. But uh, I'm glad we were able to restock this and get this for you guys. Now I've been cold in this freezer all day, so we're just gonna show you guys the sorbet. So here we have our other new product, cotton candy. Grape sorbet, our second flavor in addition to our organic lemon sorbet, which are made with the highest quality organic fruits, glass bottled mineral water, and organic glucose, which is the healthiest sugar. So really special, really unique product. We'll get out of the freezer and I'll talk about this more. Yeah, so I've been having that sorbet. It's super delicious. Literally tastes like cotton candy. And as with the lemon sorbet, like we're still critiquing the recipe, like it's still absolutely amazing and delicious. Uh, the lemon sorbet, although it's better than the first batch, uh, we might reduce the amount of lemon a little more. I'm not really sure. I don't think it has to be adjusted. Uh, the cotton candy sorbet, it was a little icy, kind of like normal sorbet, but with the lemon sorbet, we were able to achieve a really smooth texture. I think we need to increase the sugar content of the cotton candy sorbet. It wasn't, wasn't like super sweet. So we're just gonna maybe next batch, see if we could make the texture less icy, but there's a chance that uh, that's just how it is because of the type of fruit we're using and we're only using natural ingredients. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, in regards to actual like... Have you seen the weird story of RFK Jr. with the bear? We restocked this week. Uh, we got a shipment of chicken in. 
Uh, we showed you guys the other restocks in the fridge, the beef blood, the egg white. And all the animals that died for Frank. Yep, unfortunately. Thanks for the donation, James. The smoked ham, the speck. We got some more bone broth as well in the freezer. Um, but yeah, outside of that and the chicken restocks and the butter, we got some organ grind back in and something new, which I didn't show you guys in the freezer. It looks kind of the same as the regular pet food, but uh, we have egg pet food. So my egg farmer had too many extra eggs and he just like threw them in a machine that kind of crushes them and extracts the liquid. And my butcher took that and mixed it with the animal organs for pet food. So uh, compared to the regular pet food that we sell, this is probably like more balanced and more nutritious because of the eggs, the high cholesterol content, the choline, probably really good for like uh, omega-3s and a little more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, cats and dogs shouldn't be eating eggs. Fairly confident it's not good for them. More variety in the animal's diet, so we're gonna charge a little more for that pet food, and that's gonna be uh, another pet food option if you guys want that. But, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's kind of everything I want to show you guys. So we'll just sit down and read some reviews. We got a five-star review for the Third Eye Glandular. This is on Oregon Supplement Stock. Strangely, by far the most affordable, legitimate pet. Another Oregon Supplementality. Beef with organic gives me too much to These are worth trying. You can take down a 24-ounce jar of them in one sitting. 15 minutes more. I've never tasted meat this. Um, that reminds me, there are a few things I forgot to mention in this video. Uh, we're still doing free strip steaks. I think, I mean, by the time you guys see this video, it's probably going to be over. Like today, the day this video is posting might be the last day we have enough. Uh, two free 12 ounce New York strip steaks with your order. So that's a pound and a half of meat for free. We also have a checkout, uh, a promotion that we've been doing where you can get two ribeyes for $33, which is like 25% off the regular store price. So we have just like a ton of affordable discounts right now. Like you're getting so much free stuff and you're paying so little, it's like probably half the price of all the other websites online. Uh, in regards to new stuff, uh, maybe just some restocks this week. Uh, we might be expanding the sorbet selection in two or three weeks. I think we might do uh, orange sorbet and then maybe an apple sorbet as well. Perhaps lime, I'm not really sure, but uh, I, I kind of like the idea of expanding on the Italian ice flavors and see, as long as you guys buy. You seen the game Mecha Break? Let me see. Buy them. Um, I'm willing to make them. So we got that going. The steak salt is something new this week. We got the smoked ham. That's new. Uh, we showed you guys the new butters that are available, new butter selection. Uh, but yeah, see, we'll see what happens over the next week or two. I got to uh, stop messing around with this auction nonsense because I really don't have the time or patience to do this. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want any of that stuff, I'll, I'll throw it up on eBay. Uh, I'll put in the name. I'll put in the name of the stuff. So yeah, I mean, you guys will be able to look up and see how much more it actually costs online. So I'm giving you guys a good deal. If any of you want that stuff for air quality, air filtration, or um, or just oxygen generator. I, I think personally, I think everyone should be sleeping with those oxygen generators. And if you don't have air filters in your house already, that is just psychotic. Those are going to be the best bang for your buck because. Uh, for that price, you're not going to get UV. For that price, on like regular air filters, if you want to spend two or three hundred, it's not going to have the UV filtration in it. Yeah, it's just I don't I don't know what I was thinking with that auction stuff. Like I, I thought I could use the stuff and didn't realize how much was involved in it. Um, like I'm I'm taking these car batteries out. I don't have ratchet extended. Like any time I go to do something, it's like way more involved than I initially thought I was. Um, so we'll probably just kind of sell that stuff, liquidate it, and make sure we don't uh, get into any more nonsense. Because I'm already ha having trouble and spending too much time. Like every day, I'm I'm going up in this freezer and, and defrosting these evaporators. I uh, have a lot of stuff to just kind of try to fix and maintain on my own here. Uh, so doing that extra auction stuff, try to make some money. It doesn't uh, doesn't seem like it's 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 worth it. We'll do a little more work and uh, go home and eat lunch, but. Uh, Outside of that, thank you guys for joining me today. I guess I'm not looking forward to it because anytime we do these jarred vegetables, they kind of just, they don't sell that quickly and I'm kind of going broke. Um, but it, it, they're very unique and special products and I think some people might really enjoy them. So we'll do it anyway. 
and uh, you guys, some of you guys are talking trash. Uh, the fire extinguisher exploded in my car yesterday and I made a short on it. And you guys were making fun of me for driving a 2009 Honda CRV. Guys, I, I, when I say I'm broke, I actually mean it. Like those Chevy trucks I bought, super low mileage, a few thousand dollars each, like 30, 40,000 miles. So I got a really good price on them and I can resell them probably for like 10,000 each. But I was planning on using them myself and then I can't, can't afford the car insurance. So I will just have to resell them. Uh, maybe just keep one one something as a backup because I don't have a backup vehicle yet. But um, yeah, if you guys you guys support the businesses, you guys support everything. You know the money's going in the right place. Well, if he's going broke, that's good to hear. Just to make sure that uh, we can provide you guys with the highest quality, most affordable stuff. Hopefully, stick it out a little longer and uh, can start doing everything on my own. And I think. Uh, if you guys think what I'm doing now is special, and, and this is the reason I keep going for you guys, um, the other ideas I have and the stuff I want to do in the future, I think is going to be... This guy, man.